Good job. Hey, and welcome to Nobody's Watching. Uh, today I want to talk about Jersey truths, misconceptions, and stereotypes because there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, I was only going to do 10, but then when I was on the phone with my, one of my friends, I remembered one that I did want to get to, so it's 11. And uh, granted, we could do a whole bunch more, but <laughs> these videos are already too long as it is, so uh, 11 it is. New Jersey. Fact or fiction? So the first thing that I want to talk about, number one, number one, is uh, Joyzy. Like, uh, just New Joyzy and accents. Okay, here's a clue. Uh, well, not even a clue. Here's uh, a truth right here. Uh, nobody in fucking Jersey says Joyzy. That is not a fucking thing. That is a lie. Nobody says Joyzy. So, uh, forget about it. Forget about it. I can't even do it. Forget about it. Is that what? Yeah, that's not a thing. Forget about it. I, I don't even know what the fuck it is, but that's not a real thing either. So, is there a Jersey accent? Oh, yes. Yeah, there's definitely Jersey accents. Uh, I don't feel like I have a crazy strong New Jersey accent, but at the same time, my mom was a teacher, and if I spoke poorly, <laughs> more so than I probably should, uh, she would uh, <laughs> she would hit me. No. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. But, like, uh... But she would correct me, verbally. So yeah, I don't think I, I speak too poorly. Mm, maybe comparatively speaking. But uh, but there definitely is certain Jersey accents and regionalisms. Uh, like if you're more in South Jersey by Philly, uh, a big one is water. Uh, they don't say water; they say water, like wood, like water, water. Like, like I don't I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, and I didn't realize that until I moved away from Jersey and then came back and one of my friends said that and I was like, what bitch? What are you drinking? Water? That's not a thing. So there's definitely words here and there. Joyzy? No, fuck you. That's not a real thing. Oh, but I do have, I don't know if it's a me thing or a Jersey thing, but a lot of my T's become D's. So like kitten or mitten, like even just trying to say that sounds super weird, like kitten, mitten, kitty. It's all like kitty. Yeah, the T's become D's. So I don't know if that's a me thing or a Jersey thing, but... <laughs> Number two, everyone is like the cast of the Jersey Shore. Lies, that is fiction. Okay, first of all, those assholes mm, aren't even from the Jersey Shore. They're not. Like, I think one's from Staten Island, some are from upstate New York. Yeah, like, uh, my cousin, she's from ooh, Middletown? Middleton? Middletown, New York, and uh, yeah, wh one or two of the people are from like that area. That is not Jersey, that is New York. Uh, and granted, there's a lot of similarities between Jersey and New York, but like, I'm not gonna claim those assholes. Uh, not New York, but the people from Jersey Shore. Anywho, yeah, so no, people are not like the Jersey Shore. And like, mm -hmm, probably about like 70 years ago, is when I made my first cross-country road trip from New York, New Jersey to LA. Woof. And every place I stopped, and I still had a Jersey ID at that point, they were like, oh, New Jersey, like the Jersey Shore. And I was like, no, that's not how it's like. That's a lie. Uh, so yeah, it's it's really, ew. The, Although I do love that South Park episode where they get all Jersey Shore. And the only thing that I will say that is true about that is when they're like, it's a Jersey thing. Yeah, that kind of like, that's a little bit true. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, because there are definitely things where I'm like, oh, well that is very Jersey. Uh, it's a horrible representation of New Jersey and not really accurate. So fuck you, Jersey Shore. But not the actual Jersey Shore. The actual Jersey Shore is really nice. Just not the people on that show. So fact or fiction, uh, number three, do people from Jersey curse a lot? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Would you say Jersey girls curse a lot, Shannon? Fuck yes. <laughs> Would you say you curse a lot? Absolutely. <laughs> Just so you know, I am filming this right now. <laughs> I fucking hate your fucking guts. <laughs> I 
I fucking love you. I oh fucking my. love you too. Oh my god. Would you say that Jersey girls curse a lot? Yeah. <laughs> You're at some bar and some girl called you a bitch. What would you do? Say fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like not even a talk, just like fuck you. Like yeah, yeah. Probably. <laughs> it also depends on like how much I've had to drink. That's valid. That is valid. How I treat that situation. But I feel like Jersey girls on the whole do curse a lot though. Yeah, I mean like there are obviously women who live in New Jersey who don't curse, but we have a reputation for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, tell me more about these women in Jersey that don't curse. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm, few are <laughs> And in... Also, most of them are probably under the age of 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. If someone, like, shoved you at a bar or called you a bitch, like, what would you do or say? I love you so fucking hard right now. I asked my friend Adina. No, you don't understand. Like, I asked my friend Adina the same thing. She's like, I probably, because I'm like, if someone called you a bitch, she'd like say, I fuck you. And she's like, but, you know, it really would depend on how much I've had to drink. <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. I curse a lot. Uh, and, and I teach. Uh, I teach a lot. And when I'm teaching, like, high school kids, I don't curse at all. I really don't. I'm really good about that. Uh, but... <laughs> in everyday life, oh yeah. Like, my go-to is shit fuck whore. Like, literally when I was typing it into my phone, it finished it for me and it capitalized shit. Just the S. Like, shit fuck whore. One word. Mm -hmm. uh, so if like something happens, I'll be like, shit fuck whore! Or like, when I'm, uh, when I'm teaching adults, uh, or setting choreography or something like that, shit fuck whore, that's a good one. But yeah, we curse a lot. We curse a lot. Um, so yeah, that's true. So, stereotypical Jersey girl. Uh, fact or fiction? Yes? <laughs> so, yes and no. Because I... Okay, first let me read you two definitions in uh, the Urban Dictionary about Jersey girls, because they're kind of amazing. The Jersey girl. A love of an unpretentious good time and a certain sense of style. Jersey girls are about attitude. They're about eating pizza, drinking beer, having great hair, and enjoying it all. She's got a mouth on her. <laughs> yep. She says what she means, and she's got a nice, cheerful laugh. Bottom line, all of them are sexy as hell. Which, I feel more often than not, we do have some fucking hot Jersey girls, so I'm not mad at that. Uh, the other definition, the third one in Urban Dictionary is... <laughs> There's a big difference between a Jersey girl and a shore whore. Those fake orange girls who call themselves Quidettes are no Jersey girls. Real Jer Jersey girls are the sweetest, most wholesome girls you will ever meet. <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> they can be sweet, but wholesome, that's a motherfucking lie right there. That's that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> I would never call a Jersey girl wholesome. <laughs> Our best nights are spent in diners. Uh, we call it the shore, not the beach. True. Uh, we have real tans and real personalities. We can be bitches if we need to be. Uh, we can fight. Bottom line, there ain't no other girl in this world like a true blue Jersey girl. Like a true blue Jersey girl. True blue Jersey girl. Um, I agree with a lot of things from that, uh, but <laughs> wholesome. <laughs> and, and they are real. Like, I feel like Jersey girls and just people on the whole, on the East Coast, but New York, New Jersey, uh, especially like blunt. Not much for pretense. I mean, you'll find people anywhere. Uh, you'll find people anywhere who, you know, are a little bit BSers or whatever, but honestly, like, blunt. I feel like if I'm mad at you or if I have a problem with you, you're gonna be the first one to fucking know it. Like, it, which is nice because you don't have to be like, oh, I wonder if they're mad at me. Girl, you'll know. You'll know if one of us is mad at you <laughs> because we will tell you. Um, so yeah, like, as far as Jersey Girls go, I mean, I love my Jersey girls, though. I really do. But yeah, my Jersey girls, like, yes, there's some big hair. Yes, some, there's some Jersey girl hoops. Oh, Jersey girl hoops. Okay, so that's that's a true. Like, so. So I'm at this bar in LA. It's super packed. I make myself physically up to the bar. And right there, it's super crowded. 
there's this pretty blonde girl, big old Jersey girl hoops, and I was like, oh, hey, you know, uh, I like your Jersey girl hoops. To which she replies, oh, well, you know, I'm from Jersey. And I'm like, Corinne? <laughs> this bitch, like, so crazy. I've been in LA for maybe like two or three months and, and we're at this gay bar and she's just standing there at, at the bar and like, what are the odds that both of us from Jersey? Yeah, it, it was crazy. She was a sophomore when I was a senior, but like we kind of knew each other through like theater or something. Like, I mean, it wasn't like, you basically knew everyone anyway, but uh, yeah, just, just crazy. But I do love how I was like, I like your Jersey Girl hoops, because Jersey Girl hoops are definitely a thing, and I'm not mad at that. Stereotypical is Jersey Shore, which is bullshit because they're all from fucking New York. I know, like, I know. Near New Jersey. I know. So, screw all of you who think that's New Jersey girls. Yeah, bullshit. Um, real Jersey girl mm -hmm. definitely has some attitude in a good way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mildly crazy. <laughs> okay, so fact or fiction number five is, uh, <laughs> what exit are you? Uh, so, yeah, like, a lot of people do go off of exits and whatnot, but I'm from nice jerseys. <laughs> I never went off of uh, the Garden State Parkway or the New Jersey Turnpike. I tried to avoid them like the plague. I just... I didn't really have to use them and I didn't want to use them. Uh, so that kind of worked out for me. But like that joke about what exit are you or what exit are you off of like, nah. I mean, it is a little bit applicable to some people, but on the whole, blah. That being said, uh, if somebody did say that or ask that or told me what exit they were off of, you have a pretty good idea of like where they are but there are better ways uh, to find out someone's location, and I will get to that, which is number six, which is Jersey Malls. Mm. Jersey's got some of the most awesome malls. Like, they just are. They're really good. And honestly, telling someone's geographical location is what mall they go to. It's like, do you go to Rockaway? Do you go to Short Hills? Do you go to Garden State Plaza? Like, I don't know if it's mall capital of the world, but... She got some malls. Jersey got some malls. The other thing with Jersey malls is just like, I don't know, it was, like I've been to malls all across the country and Jersey malls just seem to be better. Ooh, not, maybe not the best, but on the whole, comparatively speaking, we got some good fucking malls. And, and also in the land before cell phones like technology and all that shit, like, I don't know if people still hang out in malls now, but when I was in high school, like, that was the place to go. Like, either you would drive there with your friends or you'd have your parents drop you off and you'd meet up with friends and you would just go like trolling around the mall, gawking at other people, going into stores, going to the movies, cause like there was always some sort of like AMC or Cineplex or whatever the fuck there is in the mall. Uh, so yeah, it was, and we just had good malls. So that's true. But that also brings me to number seven, which is diners. And oh my God, Jersey diners are the shit. Like, so in the South, every corner there's like, I don't know, a church. And in Jersey on every corner, there's a diner. Like, and the thing is, going back to what I was saying about like pre-technology or current technology, not like, not the stone age, but like, but growing up like without cell phones and crazy internet and all this other stuff, like you would go to a diner. Like if you want to hang out with friends, like, uh, well, even now I feel, uh, you know, it, it's just something that would be open because almost all Jersey diners are 24 seven, which is so cool because if you had after school activities and they would get done and it would be late, Either if, let's say, you were doing sports and you got out of a game, or if you were doing theater and you finished your show, whatever, you're like, what's open? You know, or restaurants would be closing just at that time. But you could go to a diner and stay there till whenever. 
you know, and if you had cool parents and or didn't have like a crazy curfew, you could stay out with your friends till like one, two o'clock in the morning later. And it was awesome. And especially like when you're in high school and you're like, I feel like an adult. I'm gonna have coffee or hot chocolate or something at the diner at like two o'clock in the morning. You felt like a fucking badass. Um, but yeah, Jersey diners are awesome. Like, oh my God, I, I, I can't even like, they're the best. Oh, but. So I do think that Jersey's got the best diners. We've definitely got the most diners, but we do have great diners. The one thing that I will say about Jersey diners and probably diners in general, but definitely Jersey diners is don't eat the dessert. Unless you know for a fact it's good, you can get a million things at Jersey diners, like food wise, like such big menus. And it's almost always good, like really good. But uh, the desserts, I don't care how pretty they look, they taste terrible. Like Jersey, like ugh, the diner desserts are the worst. So I don't know. I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this, but like, ugh. there are exceptions. There are exceptions, but like anybody going to Jersey, I'd be like, go to Jersey diner. Unless you know for the fact that the desserts are good, do not touch the desserts. Cause they're in that case and they look all pretty and they're spinning around, but I'm like, it's Wolf City. I don't know if they've been there for so long or what, but mm -mm, no. Number eight. Fact or fiction? Um, <laughs> people from New Jersey have tempers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, check. The majority of the time. Do I feel like it's there and that I could Hulk out? Yes. I think of this one girl that I used to be really good friends with and. Oh, that girl, like, this bitch would go from zero to 60 in like a second. And it would not take much to set her off. And she would, she would go like full on stereotypical Jersey Italian ate shit. Like, crazy. Her mom could do that too. But, uh, but she would go full on like bat shit. Now, depending on the situation and what you said to her, it could de-escalate just as quickly, but more often than not, it wouldn't. And she would just lose her shit. And it was like, you better leave. Like, yeah. So yeah, I would say that the temper thing, yeah. <laughs> Comparative to like, let's say Georgia or something in the Midwest or like even West Coast, like on the whole, I feel like people from Jersey are faster to lose their shit. I think that could be legit, yeah. Okay, number nine, bad driving. So I would say false about this one. Like, okay, Jersey drivers drive aggressively, they drive quickly, but I wouldn't say bad driving. I mean, it's like you'll have a little bit of bad driving I mean, you'll have bad driving anywhere. If you wanna see bad driving, you go to LA or Phoenix. I actually think Phoenix is worse than LA. LA is pretty fucking bad too. LA is like terrible driving, but uh, but Phoenix is bad too. Like LA might have worse traffic, but I think Phoenix has worse drivers and that says a lot. But no, New Jersey, like, yeah, it's just, we got places to go. Oh my God, oh my God. But uh, Adina, when she called back, I wish I got this on the mic before. Uh, oh my God, cause she was, she called me back and she was driving and she starts cursing out this one person. She's like, the left-hand lane's for fucking passing! Because somebody was in front of her in the left-hand lane and they were not doing whatever speed limit that she thought that they should, and she was probably right. So <laughs> she goes, or, no, well, I think she flashed her high beams and they signaled to go. And I don't know if they got into the other lane or she just passed them, but then they spent the entire time behind her flipping her off. So then she flips them off to which the guy responds with two flip offs, which, you know, maybe he should be fucking driving. I don't know. But that, that is Jersey. <laughs> like, and I think it's good. They're having open communication. Both of them are saying how they feel about each other. There's no pretense. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, we drive quickly, we drive aggressively, but you also need to, especially if you're gonna be driving into New York, especially into the city, if you don't, uh, like I'm all for defensive driving, but you have to kind of, if you don't drive aggressively, you can't even drive in New York City. You'll just be sitting there and you won't go anywhere. Uh, 
So I would say no to bad driving, yes to aggressive and quick, but not really bad. Number 10 is Jersey geography and different sections of Jersey. Like people, Jersey's a really small state, but people are like, oh, you're from Jersey, so you know, it, it's all the same. No, 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 you've got North, Central, and South. I feel like there's a bigger difference between North and South, and Central's kind of, like you can kind of go there, but there, there's a big difference between North and South. Like, North is amazing and South is trash. So, boom. Uh, but, like there is definitely a difference. Uh, I'm from the nice part, I'm from North Jersey. Uh, but, but that being said, if you had someone from Massachusetts or Connecticut or New York or anywhere really, and they say something about Jersey, it doesn't matter how much shit talking North and South Jersey were doing about each other, they would come at you with like, fuck you, which would you have against Jersey? Like, you know? So North, South and Central uh, are all kind of like under that Jersey umbrella. So if someone says shit about Jersey, they will all act together. But yeah, there's a lot of shit talking within Jersey as a state. So that's a little fun fact, small state, but like completely divided. Number 11, New Jersey has the best bagels and pizzas. That's a statement. I don't have to say like fact or fiction. It's a motherfucking statement. New Jersey has the best bagels and pizza. Boom. Like, okay. So I usually say though, that New York, New Jersey, have the best bagels and pizza because honestly, they're basically connected in that respect. You will get amazing pizza and bagels from both. Like, I'm not gonna say that like one's better than the other because it's the same fucking people and it's the same water. It's like, it's the same shit, but it's amazing. Like you can't, you go anyplace else and have pizza or bagels and it's like, woof. They don't understand. And they don't understand until they actually have it. And they're like, oh, this is heaven. And I'm like, yeah, I know, bitch. Uh, it's like, as soon as I get back to the East Coast, like anytime I go to New York or New Jersey, like that's the first thing I really need to do is get pizza and bagels. They're amazing. I know people in Chicago be like, they have the best pizza and it's like, it's good. Chicago pizza is good, but it's like this motherfucking thick. I'm like, that's not pizza. That's like a fucking cake. Like it's really good, but that's not pizza. It is yummy though. Um, but yeah, pizza and bagels are just, oh, the bagels are just like, they're like almost like a little crispy on the outside and just gushy and warm on the inside. It's ugh. You do not understand unless you've had it. Like, nothing compares. Oh my God, ugh, so fucking yummy. Yeah, so those are the fun facts about Jersey. Uh, hope we put away some misconceptions and stereotypes, uh, or maybe I just made them worse. I don't know. But we like to curse, we have amazing pizzas and bagels, we're known for our diners. Diners, bowling alleys, and malls. Like, amazing. Um, I love me some Jersey girls. Yeah. I don't know, I think Jersey on the whole is really good. And it is really pretty. Parts of it. So, yeah. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed learning about Jersey. The new Jersey. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Both of you. New Jersey. The Garden State. Bye!